Hey guys, I'm Alex from Technoclass.com, and I'm, today we're going to walk you through some of the changes that you should, you should expect from the Android 4.4 KitKat update on your Nexus 7 2013 device. Now the uh, KitKat update obviously came with the uh, um, Google Nexus 5, but it is now seeding uh, to the uh, other Nexus devices, and we got ours pretty early, so we're recording this video right now. As you can see, Android 4.4 build number KRT16S, and you can get the uh, Easter egg by doing this and then doing that. It shows Android 4.4 with a red background. Um, so this is a non-rooted stock um, device, and we are gonna do a quick sort of tour on what the changes are. All right, so right off the bat, you might have noticed that the sound is a little bit different. As you can see, the lock and unlock sounds are different. Uh, I just want to show, uh, let you hear the old one. There you go. That's what it sounded like on Jelly Bean. Now it's a lot more sort of a wooden knock. Also, they changed the uh, select stuff when you press buttons. It's more of a hollow sound. If you do that on the old Jelly Bean, as you can see, a little bit more sort of spacey. Um, but yeah, that's a minor thing. So the sounds are a little bit different. Yeah. All right. So the number two change that they did is they changed a little bit of the keyboard. As you can see, this is the new KitKat keyboard. This is the old Jelly Bean keyboard. You could hold the emoticon button before and pick the emoticons that you want, but you can't do that on the new one. You have to go into the emoji and pick the right icon that you want. It's sort of an annoyance if you are if you don't like that. Also, the old uh, swi sort of the, uh, thing, the um, gesture keyboard gave you a blue streak. This one gives you a white streak. Um, also, they exchanged the comma and apostrophe um, buttons right there. As you can see, that's apostrophe. That's comma, if I'm correct. Uh, also, they they are now showing the numbers on top of the uh, the top row of keys, so you can uh, you know what which number to go with. Uh, that did not uh, that was not available on the old keyboard. So now you can type and then input the numbers that you want without having to go into the numbers thing here right here um, so yeah that's a minor keyboard adjustment I guess let's move on all right so one of the other changes that they did was they sort of changed the colors of the icons on top right now so they're getting rid of the blue icons now uh, as you can see right here they're blue on the jelly bean and now they're white on the uh, KitKat. Also, every single, uh, I don't know, I, I got a GPS icon in there, which was also white. I don't think there are colors right now on there. Also, the, um, the pull-down shade is now white as well, as you can see, instead of the blue colors. Um, so, a little bit of cosmetic change right there. Alright, so here we are looking at the settings menu. And as you can see, uh, the settings icon is a little bit different than the old one. And uh, a little bit of a different color scheme right now. The line on top is uh, no longer blue. Also, if you scroll top uh, to the extremes, you'll see that the scrolling effect gives you a uh, um, a bluish tint on Jelly Bean. The ending scroll thing, as you can see um, on the bottom. Is, let me try that. There you go. On the KitKat, it's now white, as you can see right there. They've also changed the camera icon. This is the new camera icon over there. The old camera icon looks like this, sort of a 3D image. And the settings icon, as I mentioned before, is now a sort of a gear than the uh, sliders on the old Jelly Bean. All right, so KitKat also added another uh, feature. This was not available on the Jelly Bean version. This is sort of the photosphere effect. Uh, that's what that was available on some Nexus devices, but on Nexus 7 2013, that's a new feature. So that's an addition. All right. So one of the biggest things that is um, different on KitKat is the new full screen reading and uh, watching sort of feature. And it just as you can see, it just activated right there. As uh, as you can see, there is no longer the uh, menu bar on the bottom and the notification bar on top. Uh, it tells you that if you want to get that, you just tap or just swipe down. Um, so let's try that again. Swipe down, you'll get the uh, notification bar and the controls as well. So this is a great way to read stuff um, without the uh, interruptions of the notifications and 
the uh, the menu bar I guess it's pretty nice uh, feature also the new uh, thing right now is the uh, complete action thing uh, it's different now because it gives you a uh, top to bottom effect instead of the icons uh, going left to right so here we are playing a video and I I want to show you what it looks like when it's sort of full screen um, so the uh, the top and bottom bar goes away and it, it does the same like reading books. Some of the minor differences right now is the clock. Uh, it's slightly different. I don't know if you're interested in that, but the icons have slightly moved. The alarm is now over here and the uh, sort of the interface, I'm sorry, the alarm is over there. The interface for alarms is sort of different as you can see right there. It's sort of a minor change. Um, another app difference is the downloads um, app if you go to the old downloads app right here let me just find that there we go um, it's sort of a windowed version on the jelly bean and it's now a full screen with uh, details on KitKat alright so one of the biggest changes I would say is the toast notification um, so for example we edit this guy and then we save it you'll see the toast notification note not change and then well let's try and change it and see what happens um, so the, you'll notice the different uh, notification already. Um, it's sort of a, in a in an oblong uh, shape. All right. So if we change the, uh, for example, if we do a save this and then a toast notification. Looking at that, it's it's a rectangle from Jelly. The Jelly Bean version has a rectangular no, toast notification and the uh, the uh, the I could the uh, notification from. KitKat is now sort of a circular shape. I think it's sort of bigger as well. All right, so some of the apps that came with uh, KitKat um, is Quick Office and uh, Play Newsstand. I believe you can download those uh, independently before, but now it, I believe it comes with KitKat. Uh, definitely Play, Play Newsstand was not uh, forced. Uh, I, I did not install that. It was installed after I got the update. Now getting into some of the details here on the settings, you can see that is there, there is a new tap and pay option. Uh, sort of, I believe this is an NFC payment system. I cannot test it because I don't, we don't have any sellers that are actually using that here in the Philippines. Uh, there's also a new printing option. Sorry, I pressed the wrong button there. There's also a new printing option, which gives you basically just two options, Cloud Print and HP Print Service plugin. Um, those are basically give, giving you ability to print wirelessly. All right, all right another notable change is the location uh, settings. It now only asks you if you want to go high accuracy or whatever. It doesn't really ask you a lot of the sliders before, but that's just a minor thing. Uh, and yeah. All right, so one of the bigger changes, actually, I should have go, went with this earlier, uh, the full screen lock option. So let me just uh, decrease the volume here. So if you're playing music and you lock the screen, you will get a full screen um, uh, preview of what the uh, of the uh, cover art of the song that you're playing. So if I change song, the cover art changes as well, as you can see right there. Um, and you can control the music right here on the lock screen, uh, which is definitely, you could do that before, but this is the new feature, the, uh, uh, the cover art, I guess. Um, but yeah. All right, so finally, and perhaps the most, most important part, uh, unless you're, you know, well, if you're a casual user, this is not something you will actually mess with. Uh, but I think the most important update, at least for uh, power users, is the new um, select runtime option gives you Dalvik or Art. Now, Art uh, actually means Android runtime, which basically means it'll run uh, Android code 100% um, natively because Dalvik is actually uh, sort of a workaround. And so most uh, all, all Android apps and stuff are running Art but they actually have to convert to Dalvik eventually. Now, if you use, uh, you can actually restart by going to um, Art, and it will ask you to reboot to change runtime from um, Dalvik to uh, Android runtime. We won't do that right now. I'll actually do another video about the differences between Dalvik and uh, Android runtime. My personal opinion though, Android runtime, I tried it and it's much faster. You, you should watch that video. Uh, I'll upload it in a little bit. All right, so now that we've talked about the new changes on the KitKat on the Nexus 7, we want to talk about what did not come what did not come in the KitKat update, 
but came in the Nexus 5 um, KitKat ROM. Sorry, I got a message there. Um, so, first of all, you're not getting the, the, uh, the uh, amazing anywhere OK Google sort of functionality that is on the Nexus 5. So, for example, I say, OK Google. Nothing happens. Uh, so that if you have the Nexus 5, you can say OK Google anywhere on the home screen and it'll search. Uh, but on the KitKat update for the Nexus 7, you have to go into the uh, search bar. OK Google. Now let me try that. OK Google. There you go. Um, so that's a, a little bit of a difference. They're not giving you a little uh, all of the functionality because that some of it is currently exclusive to the uh, Nexus 5. Um, so you also on the Nexus 5, you also get a swipe to the left to get to your uh, to Google. Now you don't have that as well. Also, it, on the Nexus 5, you have transparent um, notification bar on top and the system bar on the bottom. That's not transparent on the Nexus 7 because you need an app called the Google Experience Launcher, which is currently exclusive to the Nexus 5. I believe it's a bunch of, you know, drivers or maybe uh, resolution settings or whatever. Also, the camera does not get, get the HDR+, Plus, but that's probably because it's not an optically stabilized camera and it's probably a hardware limitation. That's why you're not getting uh, the HDR+. Plus. Um, and finally, well, you're not you're probably not going to get the smarter contacts integration and this caller ID because it's not, it doesn't have calls and texts. You do get the in an updated Hangouts app, uh, but you're not going to SMS from it, so you won't notice the difference. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. That's the, the noticeable changes from the uh, from KitKat on KitKat on the uh, Google Nexus 7 2013 tablet. Um, it's pretty good. Pretty decent, no longer bluish tinted uh, OS interface. Um, but yeah, check it out. Hopefully your your tablet or, or phone updates uh, with it. I'm Alex from technoclass.com. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the uh, Art versus Dalvik episode, video episode, whatever. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And as always, if you like the video, please press the like button below. Add it to your favorites and or share it to your friends. If you got something to say, drop a comment in the comment box as well. Of course, more importantly, you should hit the subscribe button on top. This will keep you up to date with our new uploads and helps us out tremendously too. That's it, guys. See you next video.